Time to plant tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. The beds are broad forked and raked. Uh, you can see there's still some uh, organic matter left from oh, little weeds and some of the root balls of things. That's okay. We're going to put uh, ground cover over all these beds and plant through it so it'll smother out any of that and that just adds more organic matter to the soil. Uh, next is what well, we got to decide. We, we have the ground cover but we haven't burnt the holes in it for planting through. So we gotta decide, do we wanna put that stuff down temporarily, burn the holes in place, then pull it out of the way and put our drip irrigation down and put the fabric back over? Or do we just wanna go ahead and put the drip tape down and burn the holes somewhere else? I'm thinking maybe do it in place. That way we have exactly how we want it and then we can just slide it out of the way, put the tape down and then put the fabric back over. But uh, first is lunch, so we'll be back in a few. I'm just gonna fill them all up.
Well, we got the holes cut in all of the ground covers. Got the edges cleaned up a little bit, uh, but it's close to the end of the day. Had to run to town, unfortunately, for some plumbing parts for the irrigation. And all I can say is, wow, people aren't thinking. And I'll leave it at that. But uh, anyway, he's got uh, four uh, rows of this ready to go. But I think we're gonna call today, uh, at least for this. And uh, we'll get back at tomorrow, get the irrigation put in and get the cover down and then uh, mix up our amendments to go into the holes with the plants get those in and get the trellis hanging down for the tomatoes cucumbers and that will just about wrap up everything within the tunnel we'll have stuff do a little bit of stuff outside for the irrigation but uh, we'll get all that lined out uh, as we get there Bye.